Comment about City of Madison receiving $429,746 and verbal speech at the November 30, 2022 public hearing before the White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council WEJAC. December 1, 2022, Reaction to the WEJAC Hearing Upon receiving a November 3, 2022 email notice from the Biden administration that $429,746 from the Inflation Reduction Act was awarded to the city of Madison, Wisconsin, to fight particulate pollution, on the morning of November 16, 2022, I contacted my alderman and the city of Madison Health Department, who I had corresponded with extensively in the past, to point out that this money could be used to purchase and distribute Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors to near neighbors of wood stove burners. Within Madison, if the near neighbors were experiencing infiltration of particulate pollution in their yards and into their homes, I recommended that these PM 2.5 monitors be used as evidence of pollution in order to shut down polluting residential wood burning within the city. My recommendation was that PM 2.5 monitors would replace the practice of using certification of wood stoves, which has been an abject failure in curbing particulate pollution in the past. The Madison Mayor's announcement, at noon on November 16, 2022, included the fact that particulate pollution is caused by residential indoor wood-burning stoves as part of her acknowledgement of the problem of particulate pollution and her acknowledgement of receiving the funds. I have not received a response from my alderman and the City of Madison Health Department to my November 16, 2022 email. I am fearful that the $429,746 may go to other particulate mitigation projects rather than using some funds to buy and hand out PM 2.5 monitors to residents, which would provide needed hyperlocalized monitoring of indoor residential wood smoke pollution. I spoke at the WeJack public hearing on November 30, 2022, in order to keep this issue in front of the federal government as further comment periods are scheduled in the future. The next comment period I look forward to commenting on is the expected move of the EPA to reduce the safe limit of PM2.5 pollution from 12 micrograms per meter cubed to 8 micrograms per meter cubed to bring it down nearer to the World Health Organization, WHO limit, of 5 micrograms per meter cubed. As can probably be concluded from this comment, I think the certification of wood stoves has been an abject failure in curbing particulate pollution. Instead, I recommend measuring the PM2.5 pollution affecting near neighbors. The PM2.5 level data available to the public on Purple Air Maps would allow government authorities to have weekend and night hyperlocalized data available at all times during governmental working hours without need to enter the home of a wood burner. Verbal speech at the November 30, 2022 public hearing before the White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council WEJAC. Thank you for letting me speak. I am Linda Carr of Madison, Wisconsin with Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates, ROSEP Residents. I have lived 60 feet away from a wood-burning neighbor for the 17 years I have owned the house I bought for $84,000, which proves I am low income. My neighbor owns a house assessed at almost twice the assessment of my house and burns wood continuously as a hobby. My neighbor turns his natural gas heat down and uses his wood stove for recreation. I use three air purifiers in my 672-square-foot home. Letting this pollution continue if the indoor residential wood stove is certified is an abject failure in curbing hyperlocalized air pollution. Even certified wood stoves emit tens of thousands times the particulates as natural gas furnaces. Particulates of 2.5 micrometer size, PM2.5, is the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. The solution and my recommendation is to give a Purple Air PM 2.5 monitor to any resident of the city of Madison, Wisconsin, who complains that wood smoke from a neighbor is infiltrating their yards and homes. 
The $249 Purple Air Monitor I purchased myself proves daily that in my own yard, I breathe three times the current EPA healthy limit of PM 2.5. Wood smoke is 90% PM 2.5. There should be ordinances against indoor residential wood burning, with readings from Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors used as evidence. Especially in cities, indoor wood burning is not a tradition. Wood burning was enshrined as renewable and given subsidies in only the last few decades, although scientists object. This year, the European Union ended most subsidies for wood burning. A Panorama TV documentary showed that the second largest wood burning plant in the world, in England, Drax, is highly polluting and is decimating primary forests in Canada and the southern United States. It is hard to make individual residents take personal responsibility for their role in air pollution, but it can be done. RAWSEpresidents.wordpress.com has TikTok and YouTube videos and Spotify and Podbean podcasts.